Cukiernia. Some amazing Polish food. Polish donuts are amazing. I want to live in Nova Kuta. You have to. Let's see if we can get on the inside of this building. You see the little Lenin over there? Yeah. One of my favorite dishes ever. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. You know what, guys? I just arrived from Georgia to Poland and I saw a place there was a Georgian bakery today and I really had to hold myself from not going in there and eating because it would have been ridiculous to spend 10 days in Georgia eating Georgian food every day, especially their pastries, come to Poland and continue eating it. And I'm going to focus on Polish pastries and I think we found a place there called uh, Cukiernia. Cukiernia, yes, it's, uh, but it's Polish, it's not Georgian. That's all right, we want Polish, we're in Poland. Oh guys, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. This stuff looks so good. It's amazing. And I think I'm going to take some back to my hotel for later. You want to eat something sweet? Yeah, I love sweets. It's all delicious. Hello. Okay, I'm in trouble. I've come into a bakery and I'm hungry. Do you have ponchki? Oh yes. Do you fancy a ponchki? Let's have a ponchki. Let's see what this is all about before we pay for it. If it's bad, if it's bad, we'll give it back. Okay, go ahead. Then you have to negotiate the price. Oh, Polish donuts are amazing. Filled with rose jam. Phenomenal. Dziękuję. Guys, first thing I ate today, and that was lovely. Guys, I'm really surprised, but there seems to be some kind of a souvenir shop here. I really didn't think that, you know, Nova Huta had a lot of tourism, but we're going in. This was the brand, Zepelix, Zepelia, it was before that. Zepelix. Because when they were selling all these handmade, uh, traditional, uh, you know, products ah. from, from the village. Wow, look at this. We're in a pottery store. So guys, the ceiling here has 75 different plates and they're all unique. None of them are identical, so that means they're handmade. But what I really want to look at is the ceiling style to give you an idea of what this would have looked like in the 1950s. Oh, what is this? It's the, what it looked like. It, this this shop was opened specially for this, for this called Sepelia, for this brand. So, so guys, look, here is a original photo of the shop. And honestly, it looks like the chandelier in 1955 was the exact same chandelier. And he said that each one is different. Each chandelier, each chandelier is different. Is different. Yeah. But they look like the original chandeliers that date yeah. back from 1955. Wow. Oh. wow. So this shop is that, original, huh? It was a phone company who, who left it like that in such a state. <laughs> such a state, really. Whoops, they're open. Take a look, guys. There's another chandelier here. It's dark in here. It's not going to pick it up. Yeah, this this one was uh, badly treated by one of the global phone companies. These are all handmade. She's, she's stamping it like the lady that puts stamps. Oh, really? This is painted and it's signed by the person who's painting. Wow, this is all hand painted, yeah. And the price for this is 381 zloty. So it's expensive, but. I'm sure it takes a lot of time to make, so it's all relative, guys. Very nice shop he has here, tell him. So this young man is born Nova Hood. His parents moved in in 1954 with, them, with him. Oh, all right. But he's, he's making a joke that he's born on the Copernicus Street, which is in Krakow, because that's where the hospital is. All right. So he's not born in Nova Huta. Dziękuję bardzo. Do widzenia. What a cool shop that dates back from the original times. Guys, I've got to tell you, coming to Nova Huta, even though it's a lot more modern than Krakow Old Town, when you come here, you get that sensation that you're going back in time, maybe 30, 40 years. Wow, so take a look at this, guys. This once upon a time. Good evening. I'm sorry, just one minute. I want to record the history for YouTube. I'm making a video two minutes. Thank you, my darling. Hello. How do you say uh, bon appetit in... Uh, Smetchnogon. So guys, this today and back in the day serves as a canteen. I guess you would call it in, uh, in Russian like a stalova where you go. Stovka. 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 And you get your food and it's usually, you know, nothing glamorous, but usually delicious. 
well priced list, list of what you can eat. There. And I don't want to walk on her yes. clean floor, but it's a shame because in the background there there are some pictures of Nova Buddha. Beautiful lamps. And Old, original these are ones. definitely original lamps, guys. So guys, that's really taking a walk into history right there. Unfortunately, we missed it. Honestly, if it was earlier, that's where I would choose to eat. So what I think we do... So guys, right over here, once upon a time, that's where the statue of Lenin would have stood. But unfortunately, they've blocked it off. Well, fortunately for the locals, because they're trying to make it a bit greener, you know, ripping up all the concrete. Yeah, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is fascinating. Going, venturing behind the buildings. Oh, Let's see if we can get on the inside of this building, see what they're like on the inside. Good evening. So guys, you can imagine that these are not the originals. Uh, just doing a little video, don't worry about it. No, no, no. Ah, yeah, thank you. Let's see what the inside of these buildings are like. So I can imagine that once upon a time, the paint on the wall might have been this horrible green that they used in so many buildings. I'm making the guys of the building very nervous. But that's okay. Three-story building with a original elevator, which I'm not sure, maybe it's not three. In the Soviet Union, everything over five had to, by law, have an elevator in it. Dzień dobry. Fifth floor, the attic, which is locked. I went all the way to the top to see if the roof was open. Okay. But uh, I, I thought that they invited you. To. No, no. <laughs> Did you see how he was staring at me? I don't think I was going to get an invite in. That's more more floors than what I can see here. That's for sure. This was not panelled. This is not the... Uh, there was no technique there at Khrushchevka the time. You know? era, which was the 1960s. This was more like the Stalinkas, the two three-story buildings, mm -hmm. but higher. But I'm surprised they had like purposefully built elevators in the building. Mm -hmm. I know so. in the Soviet times they had a law that a building with more than five buildings had to have an elevator. In, I don't know if that was the in, same in, in Poland. In Poland is up to four floors. If it was only four floors, then there was no elevator. But more than four? More than four, yes. This was six floors, so the hence floor. Stilova. So we're going into Stilova and getting, hopefully, some amazing Polish food. Let's go. So guys, right away it hits you. You can tell right away that this is all authentic. Look at this. This is fascinating. Good evening. <laughs> it is, yeah? yeah? All authentic. Yeah. How's the food here? Uh, you, you, you can taste. No, no, no. But it's, it's, it's not I'm going to order, meat, but meat. It's, it's not meat? It's meat. Uh, it's meat. I like meat. <laughs> I love you can meat. Order. You have to order this. What is it? Uh, raw meat. I love raw meat. Yeah, yeah. You have I'm going to order that for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sit here Polish and order it. And then I'll order <laughs> that Polish bread. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> and once again, look how kind the people are, how hospi hospitable, welcoming, everything. The chairs, the benches, the bar. This is all authentic. What a treat. Love it. Ah, and nothing would be complete without the picture of a tank. I want to show you something right yeah. by the bathroom. Did you see the little Lenin over there? Yeah. Oh, so I went to the bathroom and then look what I saw over here. How cool is that? And it is literally either waste pan or it's part of the table. But look at this statue of Lenin. I think it's the one and only statue of Lenin I've seen in Poland, other than in a museum. But like that, it's fantastic. So guys, we wait for the Tatar. He brought us four shots. This Apparently, is like, he said, he said, that he ordered only two and tried to pin it on the waiter, but I think Jacek here deliberately ordered four shots, so... No, I didn't. Nazdrowie. Oh, we say za spotkanie for the meeting, right? Za spotkanie. Cheers. Hang on. Za spotkanie. Za spotkanie. 
What's, what's your name? Anna. Anna? Michael. Michael. Anna and Michael here. So, cheers. What a fan. Are you guys from Nova Huta? Yes. What a fantastic city. Yeah, I want to live in Nova Huta. You it's have to. Wonderful. You have to. Where are you from? I'm from England. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? London. London. Yeah. 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 So Nova Huta is better, I think. I want to drink to Nova Huta. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, guys. <laughs> wow, guys. I need the french fries, are they coming? Thank you. Look at this guys, just to show you. One of my favorite dishes ever. And I didn't, I mean I've known this for years, but I was completely shocked. Steak tartare, very, very traditional French, Belgian dish. In every single restaurant in Poland, you will find a steak tartare and it's served be beautifully. You can mix it up yourself, make it as spicy as you want. I mix everything because I like spice, as you guys know. I, I, I was really surprised that steak tartare is very common here in Poland. Mm, yes, yes. It's like a, a national dish, practically. I absolutely love meat, especially raw meat. Even when I cook a steak, mm -hmm. before I cook a steak, if it's fresh, I'll cut a piece and eat it before it's cooked, just to see, you know, how, just to get that carnivore feel, you know. See, I've never had pork steak tartare, but no self-respecting steak tartare eater would dream of eating a steak tartare without french fries. I'm sorry, that's a tradition. So I'm waiting for my french fries to arrive before I destroy this, because this will be, other, other than the donut I've had with Jacek here, which was phenomenal, this will be my first meal of the day, so I'm looking forward to this. And my french fries have finally arrived. Thank you very much. Let's mix in this steak tartare. Best steak tartare I've ever had, guys. In Monaco, right by the casino, there's a cafe called Café de Paris, right in Monte Carlo. And they make the best steak tartare. You see what I'm doing here? The waiter actually does it for you. Get to taste it and tell him what more you want, how spicy you want it. Is it good? For me, it's good. You think we needed the vodka? Ah, uh, yeah. Never a bad time for vodka, right? <laughs> now, guys, we have a perfectly mixed tartare and french fries. This is good. It's perfect. Jacek, I gotta tell you, you have gifted me an amazing experience. You've shown me some of my favorite architectures, you've given me an authentic experience, and now one of my favorite foods in the world. And the funny thing is, I was super lucky because Jacek commented about maybe 12 days ago, and he wrote, a, he wrote me a nice comment saying, if you come to Krakow, I want to show you Nova Huta. And right immediately I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna answer this message now. I will save it for later because I am traveling to Krakow. And the thing with YouTube, you write a message and then it gets lost and it's hard to keep track of messages. That's why I prefer WhatsApp or Instagram because it's more direct. Yeah. I said, I'll save it for later and answer it when I know exactly my dates. Exactly three days ago, I decided to contact Jacek. His messages disappeared. I could not find them anywhere. Because I, I deleted it. Why? <laughs> he deleted them and I'm looking for them. I'm looking for them in, in, in my Gmail account that usually links me to the website. To the because, because I thought maybe that I'm, I'm too insisting or whatever. Because no, you already said all. that you, no, not you answered to the first message, right? And I was looking for these messages and I'm like, what have I done? Why are they gone? Why can't I find them? I must have spent at least an hour looking for them. And I'm like, I'm going to check crack out and how do I find this guy? And in my last video, Jacek, Jack, comments. And I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and finally, We've met, and that's another thing, so guys. Quickly. If I don't respond immediately, that's not because I'm ignoring you. Oftentimes, it's because I'm traveling. I'm really trying to build this channel to the point where I think it could be. And right now, that's requiring a huge amount of travel and work and dedication. And sometimes I'll respond a little bit late. So this is so good, guys. Absolutely amazing. Anna, it was a pleasure. Michael, it was a real pleasure. Nice to meet you. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and, bye bye. Your wife? Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful Polish girl. The tata, fantastic. Good choice. 
Fantastic. Ciao, guys. Guys, for those of you wondering, two steak tartars, a beer, a water, four shots of vodka, a basket of bread, 22 euros 81. Maybe Poland's the place, guys. Maybe Poland is the place. Who knows? I want to thank my friend Jacek for being a fantastic host, showing me around. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you very and much. And thank you for your support on the channel. Thank you for, for your time as well. My pleasure, <laughs> my friend. And remember, guys, enjoy your journey.